Hey 36 Fanatics, Steve here. Today I'm going to be replacing a E36 coolant reservoir. It's pretty easy to do, but it's an extremely important component on your car. When these things blow, if you're driving on the highway or something, it's a quick way to get a blown head gasket. So this one I'd actually replaced a few months ago. It already developed a hairline crack on the plastic weld underneath here so you got this screw right here uh you got this plastic tab one of the ones is broken right here but just pull this off of the screwdriver all right so this vehicle's already low on coolant so i don't really have to drain this but if you want to you can drain the uh the drain the radiator first that'll reduce the coolant spillage you're gonna pull the ra the reservoir out comes right out like this and you've got a hose connecting right under the bleed screw here that you're gonna need to remove there we go that was easy enough so underneath the reservoir you have your coolant level sensor which attaches at the bottom right here and you also have your lower radiator hose which is right down there so what you can do is you can pull up on your coolant reservoir it comes up pretty easily and it'll give you some room to remove this hose at the bottom here this hose clamp once you got that removed this sensor which i can probably disconnect it so here's my new one here is my old one so first thing first i'm gonna pop off this coolant level sensor hopefully it's in decent shape it's in fairly decent shape um a lot of the times this plastic bit will break over time and you'll have pieces of plastic in there but this looks okay all right so pop this back on no ju no thread tape or anything you need And now I'm going to put this back on the coolant hose. You can actually, once you remove the coolant hose from the reservoir to prevent it from leaking anymore, you can pull it up and it'll leak a lot less water. I am tightening the top hose. Now we're gonna pop this back in. And I also, I had trouble getting the top hose back into the coolant reservoir, so I took it out on the other side to give it some extra space. So now I'm gonna put that back in. So all you have to do at this point, once this, uh, once this reservoir is back in, is fill it back up to the cold line bleed the uh bleed the system and i'll put up a video on how to bleed a bmw coolant system and that's it 